What's up, guys? It's the Blooming Guy, and this is Resident Evil Revelations. Yeah, I did. My first Resident Evil game was, I think, five. Yeah, it was five. And one of my friends, Zat, or Zat Sonata, recommended that I try this game out. And I had fun playing raid mode with him a lot. So what I think I'll do is I'll run through maybe a stage. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's a really decent, what's a half-decent stage? Well, they're all okay. Uh, the boardwalk, yeah, trench. Uh, we'll do it on trench difficulty. Abyss is near impossible if you're properly geared. And I'll just alter my level. I have most of the characters unlocked. Most of them. And I picked Jessica because she's really good with the rifle, but my favorite character would be this guy, Chris. Chris is cool. And I'll pick this one since it's the most helpful. Uh, let's see. Where is where, where's my loadout? It's been a it's been a little bit since I uh, since I played it. I gotta lower my level to I think seventeen. Let's get that all the way to a decent level. Yeah, recommend level seventeen. And I'll try and go for the Trinity in this one. So hopefully that goes well. Let me see my loadout. Uh, yeah, I got the rifle. Uh, Decent shotgun. That's for lightweight. I think I'll change that. Not like I'll really need it. Uh, I got a sledgehammer. Um, where is it? Even though I passed it already. Thunder Raptor. Here it is. I usually I run this with I usually run this with Zat, so I'm always on support because you know he is. I think he's one of the best Resident Evil Revelations players out there. He's gonna get. Rev2 on his PS4, recently acquired, and he streams a lot, so I'll link his channel in the description. For now, let's just try and make this Trinity. Hopefully, this doesn't spiral out of control. But yeah, I'll be getting Rev2 on PS3, and maybe I'll put out a few videos. I'm not sure, but this is one of my favorite levels, uh, and I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to restock. Yeah, if you're gonna play this game, you might want to restock. Okay, uh, let's see if I remember. Okay. Oh. Yeah, she has like the nice rapid fire on rifle. And then you got this stuff. Oh, wait. There we go. Uh, and then we got this guy over here. Nice and quick. Uh, let's see. Who do we have? Come on, open your mouth. And then that'll cause crits. Rinse and repeat for the most part. Open your mouth. Yeah, eat that shot. Oh, yeah, these guys are a little bit problematic. There we go. I think there's like a there's a purple one, yeah, over there. Rifles, I think, are the uh, rifles are my favorite weapon. So, some people like magnums. Some people use hunk and lady hunk a lot. I know Zat does, because they're they're literally I think the best character in the game. And yes, I'm spending a lot of ammo. Survival horror, yeah, I get it. Did it die? No, it didn't. Okay, there it is. Now it died. Uh, now I need to throw this thing over there. Press the wrong button at first. Oh! Did it, did it work? No. Wait. I forgot a melee! I forgot! It's been so long! Get away from me! Get away from me. No. I'm panicking. Yeah. Okay. I think I did it, but at what cost? I don't know. 65 ammo, that's perfect. Uh, I forgot a melee. How do you... Is it, what is it? It's, yeah, it's just R... Okay, it's R1. <laughs> I was panicking. Oh, man. I think the last time I played it was a few months ago. So, yeah. Shock grenades. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need those. Let's see, anything I'm missing? No, no, no. Get a lot of rifle ammo though. It's perfect. <laughs> oh man, I really forgot how to melee. <laughs> oh man. That's that's what happens though. Alright. Now I think I have to rush to the boardwalk over there, and then I have to snipe fish, and then I have to camp that camp out there. So yeah, I think I think that's what's gonna happen. There shouldn't be fish on the boardwalk right now. Oh, there are. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. I think that worked. Yeah, it worked. Uh, yeah, you wanna wanna stop having your way with the the boardwalk there, buddy? Be uh be real beneficial. I think as soon as I kill one, I have to turn around because like there's like four fish. If I remember, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, or maybe I'm just being paranoid. But then again, in a zombie apocalypse, you can be paranoid if you want. around no okay good good okay good. I really think there's like a fish that's gonna spawn over there I'm gonna keep doing it anyway like look at her reload speed that is some dexterity pretty sure this is supposed to be like a fish no fish Fish you over here? Fish. Hello. I mean, if not, I'm just going to spam this guy with grenades. I think I'm done. Ooh. Let's see. Just light him up real quick. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Should be it. Uh, not my fastest time, but just wanted to show off. This is one of my favorite levels. Also, in the be it's in the beginning of the game, so... Light, light spoilers, let's say. Um, and then if you check around here, you can just... Yeah, it's just a nice, easy level. If you keep doing this level on this difficulty, you, you'll level up eventually. So, that's how I got to 50, at least. But there is a struggle and a, and a difficulty... Uh, there's a gap, kind of, with that. So, yeah, let's just get that leg up and bam, we got it. Now let's see if we got the Trinity bonus at the end. That's the one thing everyone likes to go for in this game, the Trinity bonus. And it can be easily ruined by some, some thing. Oh, S rank, that's good. Low level bonus. Low level kind of, but I was on the same level. Killed all the enemies, that's good. I didn't think I got hurt. No, I did not. So that will give me the Trinity bonus, which gives me a lot of BP that I can go to the store and then buy weapons but that's kind of a joke because all the best weapons drop in this game and it's RNG sadly to say outrange yeah I'll keep it yeah I'll keep that too all right so about four minutes not bad I think my fastest was like three minutes something like that let's see and then I'll go to the store and uh, replenish all my consumables because that was very foolish of me to go in there missing a few of those nothing interesting nope yep and uh, yeah that's Resident Evil Revelations the story I think it's it's pretty nice it tells you I think what happened before 5 and I think after 4 I'm not 100% sure you can correct me if I am wrong uh, my favorite stage is beach, and there's three different difficulties I've you seen. Uh, I'm pretty excited for Resident Evil Revelations 2. I don't know about you guys, but I'll be picking it up when it drops in February. I'm Oblivion Guy, and I'll catch you guys later.